guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for today's video because I will be dermaplaning my face for the very first time. I'm excited. Are you excited? I am so excited. I wanted to get in close and personal with you guys because I have live acne currently. There's one right here, there's one right there, and there's one right here. And there's a few more spread across my face. Per, like sporadically because acne is so predictable but anyway I wanted to show you guys this video because one I deal with acne and I feel like it's starting to finally clear up in lots of major areas but I have left behind a lot of um, ice pick scarring a lot of um, rolling scars um, a lot of hyperpigmentation like this is the better side of my face but this side the hyperpigmentation is really bad. And this is where I break out the most too. Like this is still active. And some of these are like healing right now. So this is my face before. So for those of you guys who are not familiar with dermaplaning, it is what many makeup artists, celebrities, influencers use to have glowing, clear, beautiful skin. So pretty much dermaplaning will exfoliate the topmost layer of your skin, getting rid of your fine peach fuzz hair. It's simple, it's safe, it is something that a lot of people have been using for years. A lot of people have said that their hair has not grown back darker. I don't know how my skin is going to react because I do have darker peach fuzz. So hopefully it doesn't grow back darker. It's not as dark as my hair, but it is like brown peach fuzz. So we'll see what happens. So currently on my face is Boy Brow Bare Minerals Mascara, Bare Minerals Lip Gloss in Too Legit, and that's it. I prep my skin by washing it with a regular face wash, nothing that has salicylic acid or any type of like active ingredients in it. I just use a regular sensitive skin face wash. Whatever type of face wash you can get your hands on that's just a regular face wash, use that. And then I pat it dry with a paper towel and I use warm water to wash my face. For dermaplaning your face at home, you will need these items rubbing alcohol eyebrow razors these are from tinkle um i'll leave a link to the description below for all of these products a little glass drawer to put your rubbing alcohol in and a little paper towel i will be using mine from grove collaborative because it's more eco-friendly but use whatever paper towel you have at your house a toner and two cotton pads and make sure your hair is away from your face because the last thing you want is like your hair bothering you and you actually like cut off your eyebrow. That would suck. So before we begin, I'm gonna use the toner and the cotton pad. Oh, this is our herbivore toner. I broke the herbivore glass, so I just put it in a different glass bottle. Anyway, I'm just gonna quickly tone my face to make sure that whatever is still in my pores, gets out before I start shaving it. So we're gonna take a brand new razor. Make sure you use one that is brand new because you already have acne. You don't wanna spread your acne any more than you need to. Also, with a very light hand, I'll start with my forehead. Do not get your hair, but pull your face taut and with tiny little movements, start shaving your face downward. When you get to your eyebrow part, do not shave your eyebrows off. I repeat, do not shave your eyebrows off. Then, also, girls, avoid your baby hair. Okay. So far, this is just hair on here. Germs. Wow, 
can see I literally shaved off a piece of my baby hair. I don't know if you can even tell though on accident. So ladies, be careful with your baby hair. don't know if you can see it because my camera really sucks at focusing but everything that's on there is hair it's just pe so I like to do over here too because I also break out over here this blade is literally covered in hair My face feels so smooth when I'm just like rubbed over. So I do have black acne. I'm trying to be very gentle when I go over that. And now I'm gonna go around my eyes. So be gentle, you guys. Can you see that? That's peach fuzz hanging with dead skin. Lovely. So this side of my face doesn't have as much active acne as this side of my face. That's why I started with this side. Okay, so you guys won't see me going over my upper lip peach fuzz because I personally already know that I'm just gonna wax that part. So what I've always done, it's what I prefer, honestly. So. Let's move on to our chin. So periodically, I'm taking the razor and I'm rubbing it on the paper towel to get rid of all the excess hair that's clogging it. And now, since I'm moving on to a new section of my face, I am going to dip the Time to start again with a freshly cleaned razor. Oh wow, my chin had so much on it. Like, I don't think you guys can even see it because my camera is not that great at focusing, but a lot of it is literally just like dead skin and fuzz. I am gonna dip the razor into some rubbing alcohol just to prevent bacteria from spreading. Some parts of my skin started to peel. I don't know why, it just did. So I'm gonna move on to this side of my face. This side of my face has the most acne, so I'm gonna go off camera for this side but I'll see you guys soon. Okay guys, I just completed shaving my face. It feels really smooth. I didn't do my nose because I'm low-key nervous to do it and my nose doesn't really bother me much in form of like breaking out. It doesn't really break out. It just has like, if anything it has like blackheads on it like most people's normal noses, but this is the end result. It looks so different to me. Like it's literally just glowing for no reason. So I turned red at one point. Don't be surprised if you turn red too. It's not that big of a deal. People turn red while running, or at least I do. So I want to show you guys how much hair came off this side of my face when I clocked out. I don't know if you can see. See, that's how much hair came off the left side of my face. And that's the side of my face that has the most acne. And there's a ton of dead skin in there. Like, even when I was doing it in the um, mirror, I saw the dead skin literally just coming off and I was just like, wow, look at all that dead skin. Look at all that hair, it looks like little dust mites. So my other warning to you guys is be careful because I did like nick myself right here. It's not bleeding, but I can feel like the sting of like a paper cut. But um, first time shaving my face, didn't go too bad, I think. Didn't go too bad at all. Don't forget all these items we link down below. So now post treatment. So when you're done doing your derma planning, be sure to go back over it with some toner. Cause you just 
deeply exfoliated your skin. See some of the dead hair is coming off on here. That was still stuck on my skin. Yep, a bunch of dead hair is just on here. I'm gonna tone again. Flip the cotton pad over and do it once more. My skin feels so smooth. You guys, you cannot wear makeup 24 to 48 hours after you do this. So that's why the only thing I have on is my brows, my mascara, and my lippy. Because I don't want to clog or get anything into my freshly opened and cleaned pores. Don't forget you need to follow up with moisturizer. I'm going to use the Be Hydra by Drunk Elephant. Love this stuff. I love Drunk Elephant in general. But um, this stuff is like golden goals. No, I just got in my mascara. My skin feels so smooth. So my goal for this derma planning was to help get rid of my hyperpigmentation, my acne scars, and honestly all the dead skin on my face. Because I do the the glycolic serum, the nighttime serum for B Hydra for um, Drunk Elephant at nighttime. And I feel like that has really helped my skin a lot. But I feel like I need even more like physical exfoliation. And this stuff, this dermaplaning really came in handy today. Ooh, if my face feels so smooth and soft and just amazing. It just feels amazing. I really hope that this helps with my scarring as well. So since you just put your face through all of this crazy nonsense, follow up with sunscreen. I'm gonna let this soak into my skin some more and then I'm gonna follow up with my sunscreen. I'll be using the Glossier Invisible Shield sunscreen all over my face. Like over here, like this chunk of my skin looks so clear right now where my finger is. And over here, this part looks less inflamed in person. It looks more like chill. And hopefully the scarring is gonna go away soon because this no, 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 no. Dermaplaning helps for all your products to penetrate your skin better. So hopefully tonight, tonight I'm not doing my glycolic acid exfoliation because I just did this on my skin. So I'll probably wait 48 hours just like I would wait with makeup. But I will be putting on deep moisturizer on my skin and washing my face today before I go to bed. So following up with my sunscreen. Sunscreen helps with hyperpigmentation. So... Sunscreen yourself, people. Don't forget. Because the last thing you want is to break out or get hyperpigmentation because you didn't put sunscreen on because you were being lazy. So get your sunscreen on. I realize, you guys, I am hairy. Like, oh my gosh. All that hair that came off of me, it looked like little dust mites. But anyway. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on IG. I love to make little mini skin tutorials on my IG and they're like little video tutorials on my IG. So follow me there and follow my life and comment down below. Would you try dermaplaning? I'm trying to wink and I can't. I think you guys should try it. Um, I will let you guys know on my IG stories if my skin grows back darker. But from everything that everyone has told me, your skin does not grow back darker. It just grows back the same way it was there before. And since I never knew I had this much hair, it's just going to go back to having that much hair again. I would like to do this once a month for the rest of the next three months to see how it affects my acne and my scarring. And if anything, if I have some results to show you guys, I'll do a follow-up video to this one and show you guys my results. Because acne sucks. I'm 23, I'm an adult, and I still have acne, and it's just like why but there are regular procedures to help get rid of it so i'm excited till next time guys bye